Well, happy Wednesday evening to all of you out there in this great big world that I, Brother Dana, call social media. I hope that you are doing well and a special shalom to all of the precious chosen people of the Most High Yah. I was just talking with a brother today and as he stated, I think he said something like, we are entering the fourth quarter and you know who wins the game. Anyway, um, I, I was uh, in, in the house eating and I happened to have the news on, I think it was like the six o'clock news, and they came across with breaking news that here in the United States, this pandemic, this COVID-19, has now officially taken the lives of 100,000 people. And so I kind of listened in and which, you know, the numbers are not going to surprise those of us who are in this truth. But I was listening on and then the next thing they said that 85% of the lives that were taken belonged to individuals in this country ages 65 and over. And that caught my attention. I was like 65 and over. And then of that 85%, over one third of those individuals who lost their lives were either in retirement homes, retirement centers, or nursing homes and care facilities. And then that really caught more of my attention. And so, yes, in the physical realm, we look at that and say, well, that's that, you know, makes sense as, you know, this virus is going to take the lives of individuals where their body for one way or another is um, hindered, whether it's by, a, you know, some other ailment that we are dealing with um, or age. But. In the spiritual realm, I think there's another explanation to this. And so I began to think, huh, 2020 <laughs> minus 65 lands you at 1955. And then let's say individuals that are dying in a nursing home are 85 years old. That takes you to 1930. And so I began to think of all the different things that you, my Hebrew brothers and sisters, those of your ancestors during that time that are no longer with us, and some of you who are still with us, I know can share story after story of events and things that were going on in this country that people who were 65 and over led. And these things and these groups and our, our systems that were being created um, and, and maintained for white supremacy were utilized to destroy, oppress you, the chosen people of the Most High Yah. And so the generation that is in the nursing home or in a retirement home that are at a point in their life to, you know, lay back and say, I have, you know, labored, I have worked, and now I can retire and I can enjoy the fruits of my physical labor. And just now at that point, 85%, 85,000 of 100,000 individuals in that generation lost their lives. And I know this virus right now is hitting all different kinds of cultures and skin colors of people. But yet when I looked at some statistics of the majority of people who live in retirement homes, are living in nursing homes or care facilities, 
a majority of those individuals fall underneath the white Caucasian ethnic race. Because see, what I believe we are experiencing is the initial judgment of the oldest generation living to begin to reap the consequences of what they have sold to go against, to enslave, to oppress our black brothers and sisters who are our Hebrew brothers and sisters and that were also laid down to guarantee and to sustain white supremacy. Galatians 6, 7, do not be deceived for Yah is not mocked for whatever a man sows, this also will he reap. And right now you can see all generations of my white evangelical family members, evangelical Christians, mocking the Most High Yah, as if they will never face the consequences of the seeds of hate and evil they have planted in their lifetime to help oppress, enslave, and teach the next generation where you as blacks belong in whites maintaining white supremacy in making America great again. Because as soon as they were done talking about that generation hit by the coronavirus, they then went to beaches and clubs and pools and resorts and various places where the next couple generations of Gentiles were gathering and they were gathering with no respect or obedience to the very danger of fearing the hand of judgment of the Most High Yah. And so to my Gentile brothers and sisters that are 65 years and younger, pay attention to what our older generation family members are reaping just when they should be as the Bible said, the rich man, that the farmer that filled up his bins, then went to bed saying, ha ha, I've got it made for the rest of my life. And it was then, due to his arrogance and, and all that he thought he was, the Most High Yah spoke to him and said, I'm sorry, but tonight will be your last. So may you not think you are deceiving the Most High Yah, and in your behavior as you mock him. What you've planted are growing. They're just not quite yet to the place of harvest. But your field is next. May you take heed to see and to watch the hand of God's judgment on our older generation. And may you repent and acknowledge your sins and live your life cleaving to the Hebrew family members so that your harvest will not be a harvest of, of disaster, destruction, death, anger, pain, misery, 
and suffering. Again, I bring you the words that come from the Most High Yah, from the Bible. Growing up in rural Minnesota, I was always taught clearly by my farming family. Don't expect to get beans when you planted corn. And don't expect to get a good crop if you're not willing to remove the weeds, pick out the rocks, and labor to then have a harvest that will fill your bins with rewards of crops. So if that is true in the physical realm, then it must also be true in the spiritual realm. So you decide, what are you about to reap? What have you sown in your heart when it comes to your thoughts of the black man on Monday that with the knee of a white racist cop, his breath was snuffed out? What was in your heart when you saw that? Was it that you want to know the whole story? He must have done something. He had to do this. Or was it one that you fell to your knees in sorrow and in pain to think that a precious life, an individual that had the breath blown into their body by the very same God that did it to you and I, was snuffed out. And if that did not make you weep, be prepared for what you're about to harvest. Shalom.